What are you saying? Pray for me, Papa, please. Why? For my court case to be huh? cancelled, Papa, to be withdrawn. When, when are you going to court? On the 13th of January. I should pray for you. Yes, Papa. Do I know you? You don't know me, Papa. Hey, your problem is anger. Yes, Papa, it's true. Who is she to you? My mother. She's, she's, she's my she's daughter. My oh, you are the mother. Yes, yes Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. I don't know. She, I am seeing her screaming to cancel her date. Have you mentioned the story? No, Papa. Do you know the story? Yes, Papa. Do you know, do you know what happened? Yes, Papa. She called me when I was at home. She said she did the bad things. Okay, let me tell the bad things she did. Can I tell you? Yes, Papa. Hey, you. Facebook. Yes, Papa. Facebook. Yes, Papa. It started you there. Now, you, were, you were now on Facebook. Huh? Yes, Papa. Fighting for a guy. Yes, Papa. You and a girl. Yes, Papa. In Bella Bella. Yes, Papa. It's true. Yes, Bella Bella. Yes, Papa. You now, she posted, you posted, you began to fight. Yes, Papa. You kept that anger in you. Yes, Papa. You now visited Bella Bella. Yes. As you went to Bella Bella, you now, you arrive in Bella Bella. Yes. Then, as she's in Bella Bella, you found this girl. Yes. In a small house. Yes, she was Papa. sitting on a bed. She was in his room. Papa. Aha. And on this bed, near her, there was a stove. Yes, Papa. She was cooking on a stove. Yes, Papa. The other stove, there was meat. Yes, Papa. Covered, but not boiling. It was yes. already cooked. Huh? Yes. There were six pieces of meat stew. Beef stew. Yes. Huh? The other part she was cooking. Yes. There Papa. was there was pap. Yes, Papa. And the porridge of pap was boiling. Yes, Papa. They were trying to you eat went Papa. straight and took the pot with yes. bo boiled <laughs> porridge for pap, true, pap and threw it on her chest. Yes, Papa. What happened? What happened? We started arguing and we started fighting. Uh -huh. And then as she approached me, they were, they were trying to make pop. So it was still porridge. So I took it and I poured it on her, Papa. Do you know what was in another pot? Do you know? I didn't see, but then I, I didn't okay, see. Okay, there was, was two, six pieces. Yes, Papa. You took the what? I took the porridge and poured it on her huh? chest. Exactly as I'm saying. Yes, Papa, exactly as you are saying, Papa. Can I prophesy a little bit here? Prophesy <laughs> me, I am wondering, I'm passing here, she, she keep on showing me this. So I'm like... It's the bail, it's the bail paper. Yeah, you keep on showing me, I'm, I'm passing it. Eh? What should I pray for you? Cancel my case. Now, cancel my case, I check in the spirit realm. You know, using prophetic zesosophia. Oh, yes. Move here. One child. My daughter. Huh? I, my daughter. One child. <laughs> you. And I pray for you. You give me from anger, Papa. You have so much anger. <laughs> yes, Papa, it's true. Don't worry. You people, you're going to come to understanding. Yes, Papa. You know, they're your family. Yes, Papa. You will come to understanding. Don't worry. You, Papa. Mighty name of Jesus. Come here. No more anger. In Jesus' name. <laughs> to whom God forgives. Everywhere he's forgiven. Oh, yeah. I receive. I receive. You Papa. shall come with a big testimony. I receive. It happened that I had a court case, that I had a fight with someone, and I ended up taking hot porridge and pouring it on that person. Okay, let me tell the bad thing she did. Can I tell you? Yes, Papa. Hey, you. Facebook. Yes, Papa. Facebook. Yes, Papa. It started you there. Now, you, were, you were now on Facebook. Huh? Yes, Papa. Fighting for a guy. Yes, Papa. You and a girl. Yes, Papa. In Bella Bella. Yes, Papa. It's true. Yes. Bella Bella. Yes, Papa. You now, she posted, you posted, you began to fight. Yes, Papa. You kept that anger in you. Yes, Papa. You now visited Bella Bella. Yes. 
<laughs> as you went to Bella Bella, you will now you arrive in Bella Bella. <laughs> then, as she's in Bella Bella, you found this girl yes. in a small house. Yes, she was Papa. sitting on a bed. She was in his room. Uh -huh. And on this bed, near her, there was a stove. Yes, Papa. She was cooking on a stove. Yes, Papa. The other stove, there was meat. Yes, Papa. Covered, but not boiling. It was yes. already cooked. Huh? Yes. There were six pieces of meat stew, beef stew. Yes. Huh? The other part she was cooking. Yes. There Papa. was there was pap. Yes, Papa. And the porridge of pap was boiling. Yes, Papa. They were trying to you eat went Papa. straight and took the pot with yes. bo boiled <laughs> porridge for pap, true, Papa and threw it on her chest. Yes, Papa. Papa located me, and he prophesied. To me, over, over that, what you are explaining. Over that, that I'm talking about. So, we went to court on the 13th of January, and when we got there, the, state, the lawyer that the state had assigned for me spoke to the magistrate to plead on my behalf because I was a first time offender. So, the magistrate said to the state lawyer that the only minimum sentence she can give me is five years. So what you are saying, are you hearing that? The, your what? The what? The only minimum Who was pleading on your behalf? The state lawyer. The state lawyer. Yes. If you hear what the state lawyer is, the state lawyer is not fighting for her case. The state lawyer, together with everyone in court, knows she's guilty. Now what they are fighting for is at least the time must be. So the state lawyer is not fighting that, hey, let her be free, she's not guilty. The state lawyer is fighting that, please, at least give her the least amount of time to serve. Which the judge said the minimum they can give is five years. five years. Even you and me, we know she's guilty. So I said, okay, we went outside. My mom advised me to spray the anointing oil on the door that only the magistrate uses. So I went and did as Which oil was that? The door. Which oil? The, the fire anointing oil. Okay. So I did that and she even pushed me to enter inside to anoint the seat where the magistrate will be seated. And I did that. So... She looks so quiet, the mother, eh? She has some prophetic tricks in her bag. She pushed the daughters at eh, eh, not only on the door. Uh huh. I did that, and she told me to spray it in my mouth, my face, my hands, just everywhere. I did that, and then when they called my case number, the complainant came and said, "I don't want to carry on with this case. I forgive her. It's okay. We can all move on." And they there was an understanding. The charges. There was an understanding. There was an understanding. Just like the prophet said. Just as the prophet what said. What are you waiting for, somebody? Don't worry. You people, you're going to come to understanding. You know, they're your family. You will come to understanding. Don't worry. You. Mighty name of Jesus. Come here. No more anger. In Jesus' name. <laughs> to whom God forgives. Everywhere he's forgiven. Oh, yeah. I receive. I receive. You Papa. shall come with a big testimony. I receive. I receive. She dropped the charges. Are you hearing that? The judge and the state lawyer, they have already agreed at least five years. So they came in back in the court again. The complainant, the one who opened the case, this time around says, uh-uh, I, I am dropping the charges, I am forgiving her. Right in court. To whom God forgives. Everywhere he's forgiven. Oh, yeah. I receive. I receive. You Papa. shall come with a big testimony. I receive. I receive. God of major prophets, Shepard Boshir. And the same God is about to do it for you. As if it's not enough, she was forgiven from that because she was going to serve for five years. Meaning to say, if she was going to serve for five years, she was not going to study. But God dealt with her uh, sentence and gave her school to study civil engineering. 
even you. The same God is opening doors for you. Why are you crying, my sister? I just don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for God of later on. I can only, because I had already accepted that I'm going to spend five years in jail. So I just embraced everyone around me with love more. I just spent more time with my daughter because I knew that I wasn't going to see her for the next five years. But now God has set you free. But now God has set me free. What can you say about this, my sister? To somebody who has lost hope, how can you encourage them now concerning the God working through major prophet Shepard Bushiri? To somebody out there who has lost hope in their situation, what I can tell you is that God of major one, he has prayers. Keep on pressing on. Don't give up. Imagine where I would have been if I gave up on God of major one. 